Okay, F on the British company. Afternoon, Bridget. What do you mean you're going on holiday? Well, what about Julia? She had to go to the Message, Mr. Cleaver. I'm appalled by message. Skirt is demonstrably neither sick nor absent. Appalled by management's blatantly sizest attitude to skirt. Suggest management sick, not skirt. That's quite ridiculous. Mm. Oh, I see. Hang on, hang on. Oh, sorry. I see. Oh, right. Yeah. No, I understand that. Yeah. I understand that perfectly. A tragic spinster, but proper girlfriend of bona fide sex god. So committed that he's taking me on a full blown mini break holiday weekend. Just promise me we don't have to sit in any little boats and read poncy poetry to each other. He's also agreed to protect me at Uncle Jeffrey's hideous Tarts and Vickers fancy dress party. This can't be just shagging. A mini break means true love. Suddenly feel like Scream Goddess and Manor of Grace Kelly. Though perhaps ever so slightly less elegant under pressure. It's very quiet here, isn't it? Are we, uh, are we the only guests? Or? We have a wedding this weekend. I believe there are just four of you not involved. Huh. Hmm. You do the boats, I'll do the tea. Oh, Jesus. Hello there. Hi. Oh, well. Take it you're also heading for the Alcumbrys Rockery. Yes, that's right. I brought Natasha. Get a bit of work done, thought I might make it a not entirely wasted weekend. How interesting. What a gripping life you do lead. Yeah, well, I'll, um, I'll see you upstairs in a second. Well, the weakness of their case lies in the deposition they made on August 30th. Season of mist and mellow fruitlessness. Oh, fuck me, I love Keats. Have you heard this one? There was a young woman from Ealing who had a peculiar feeling. She lay on her back and opened her crack and pissed all over the ceiling. Oh, bollocks, for sure. Oh, no. I'm boring you for it. I can't see an alternative. I'm king of the world. Me! Ah! <laughs> I'm pissed bollocks. <laughs> All right, that's it. Stupid ass. <laughs> bollocks. <laughs> All right. Ah, no. So childish. <laughs> yes. Great scotch. I'll, um, I'll be going then. Uh, Natalie, I hope to see much more of you as our two great countries work toward a better future. Thank you, sir. Uh, yes, Peter. Uh, Mr. President, uh, has it been a good visit? 
Very satisfactory indeed. We uh, got what we came for, and our special relationship is still very special. And uh, Prime Minister? I love that word, relationship. It covers all manner of sins, doesn't it? I fear that this has become a bad relationship. A relationship based on the president taking exactly what he wants and casually ignoring all those things that really matter to um, Britain. We may be a small country, but we're a great one too. A country of Shakespeare, Churchill, the Beatles, Sean Connery, Harry Potter, <laughs> David Beckham's right foot, David Beckham's left foot, come to that. And a friend who bullies us is no longer a friend. And since bullies only respond to strength, from now onward, I will be prepared to be much stronger. And the president should be prepared for that. Quite as secret as we'd hoped. What do we do now? Smile. Little bow. <laughs> no way. <laughs> All these streets around here have these mysterious communal gardens in the middle of them. They're like little villages. Let's go in. Oh, no, that's the point. They're private villages. Only the people who live around the edges are allowed in. You will abide by rules like that? I don't know, no, but uh, others do. And I just uh, do what I want. Um, right. Uh, yeah. What's the day, is um. <laughs> What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You said whoopsie daisies. No one says. Whoopsie daisies, do they? I mean, unless there right. is no unless, because no one has said whoopsie daisies for what fifty years, and even then it was um, it was just little girls with blonde ringlets. Exactly. Right. So here we go again. Whoa! Whoa! Whoopsie daisies. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a disease. It's a clinical thing. I'm uh, taking pills and having injections. I'm told it won't last long. So. Okay. Stand aside. I don't think that's a good idea. Mm. Really, it's quite um, tricky. Anna. Anna, don't. It's harder than it. No, it's not. It's easy. What? Come on, Flopsy. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God, this, this could be very unpleasant. Ay! Bugger! Bugger! Now, what in the world in this garden can make that ordeal worthwhile? It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. Nice garden. <laughs> <laughs> 